live. Oh, live, hi. <laughs> two E, two E. So today, uh, like I said, and maybe in a couple other episodes, that I do uh, some jewelry, because I am a jeweler. What we're gonna do is actually, I'm actually supposed to be teaching teen how to make her own cord because she picked up a uh, pendant, a uh, life tree pendant that I developed, that I made out of silver, and she wants to put a cord for her friend. So I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to do the cord. What I do is I do this system where it's like a slip knot, right? So when you put it on, you'll slip knot it and then it just holds. But I have this even. And then what we start doing is we start doing a four grade. We'll, we'll go like under like this, we'll start over. So this one goes under, over, this goes over, under, and then across the over center, right? And then you just tighten it down, right? So then. Again, since you have these crossed over, right? You go under, and this goes over, and under, over again. Right, so we want to just tighten it out, and we're making a, a, a three braid, see that? A four braid. And I push it through. push this back in, right? Then do one overhand knot, right? And we'll sit you down. Okay. See? And then we're gonna take one of these guys, and we put it in slowly. And what you do want to do is you want to just do this so it's how you measure this, how how long you want this. That in the middle, so this goes over, okay. under, and then over, yeah. under. Now pull, yeah. Right? Yeah, and then split it. Once you get like, like total professional, this is all like, and you keep going blah, 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 and you don't miss me you don't mess up like I just did again you know if you mess it up that's for your friends so. <laughs> not my fault Hey, it's all part of the natural thing. You know, we're not a robot. You know, what's, what's beautiful about this type of jewelry, bone jewelry that I love, is that just sort of the handmadeness, the handcraftiness of it. You know, it's not perfect, but because of that, there's a beauty in it. For me to do these type of jewelry pieces, I like doing the fish hook because it always brings me back to when I was young in Hawaii. So a lot of my designs, even though this is a swan, one of the feathers broke off, right? But this is still in the shape of a fish hook, right? The earring that I have, right, that I, that I made, still is in the shape of the fish hook, right? So it brings it back. This actually, uh, this bone piece is uh, not a fish hook but it, it was more for 
my response to actually 9-11 because I had a close call of maybe being on, on one of those planes, which we'll talk in a different story, but uh, I wanted to be able to have a weapon on me that I could bring on the plane just for self-defense. And so you could take this off, and because I have the, it's sliced here, it's not totally sharp, but if you push it in hard enough, it can be used as a weapon. So, for well, this is self-defense. Can I? Yeah. It's not sharp. It's not sharp. Mm. But the thing is, if you were to put it, you know, like in in a soft area here, in here, in the groin area, and give it a shove, it can protect you. Have you heard about <laughs> our friend from high school? <laughs> oh my God! No, 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 he didn't. No, 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 he didn't. Dude, that's just cray cray. What you talking about, woman? Come on, tell me the juicy tea. She's pregnant again. Again? It's her seventh baby. Really? Seventh baby in five years? <laughs> Teens. What fertile god is she going to do? Man. I'll show you how to uh, tie off, you know, changing the cord, right? And then um, in doing so, I'll teach, teen will be done with this cord at some point, and then I'll teach her how to tie. All tie right. It off, so. Yesterday, we worked on these strands right here, right? Where we had the guys kind of get all chunky down here, but it's okay. So we made two halves of my necklace, and now we want to put it together, right? Again, we just did overhand loops at the very end. Are these the same width, length? could have gone a little longer, it would have been okay. What the team needs to do now is take one end, all of these, and string it through there. To so this? Yeah. So she's going to do that to uh, both sides, so that we end up with a knot situation like this. And this is where our slip knot works. It's nice and tight, right? Mm -hmm. That's perfect. Now do the other side. This is the hard part for me, yeah. sitting here waiting. Huh? I thought putting it inside a... I can feel my hair grow. <laughs> really? At least my nose hairs. So right now I'm just gonna change this. Let me just dirty slip again. Right. What I'm gonna do is I'm fill these holes. Since I've done this, now the holes are clogged. So we're gonna go over to the bench. Okay, and then this one, this one has to go from it's here, backward. from here to in there. Okay. Okay. 
So it, the, the, the string should go through that hole four times. So like tie the white ones together, tie the white ones together, tie the brown ones together, but have that in between. Tie that. same color, tie same yeah. color. Sure. On one side and then the other color on the other side. Just do one overhand knot. Just do that mm -hmm. loosely right there. Okay. First. Okay. On the other side of the rope, do these. Okay. Okay. Now, you have a counterpart. See how you could tighten that a little bit? Now do one with the counterpart. Okay. Of the opposite color. Okay. See that? Mm. So we're making that box square around. And now you want to just tighten it a little bit. Don't overly tighten it but it should be nice and tight next to that middle wrap, okay? So we're tying knots that are around the center, see that? Okay. Tighten it, now, now tighten it. Don't have to do go crazy, go tighten it so it's even and nice. Okay. So it looks even and nice. It's nice at the center, because if you over tighten it too much, then it goes off center. Mm. You want it nice at center, okay? So it's a matter of set, tightening it around the center. We have to remember that we want to do that on both sides. You don't need it that long. Yeah. Okay. So what I'll do is uh, we'll, we'll do it together. Okay. So it's easy. So again, we want these white, right? Mm -hmm. These white we're gonna do. So let's do this on the back side. Just have it done with the back side, right there. Okay. And so now take take the white and wrap them real tight. Nice. Put them next to each other, okay? They can't overlap. Yeah. Okay, there's two, right? Three. You don't have to do it too tight, but just, okay, this is four, right? I like doing seven, because it's like seven. Five, right? Six. Six. And then seven, let's put them through that loop. Put them through this loop. Okay. Put them through this loop. Okay. Again, you don't need to cinch them down. Just let it go. Let's actually pull this. And cinch it down. Get that straight. I'm gonna try to pull it through. So when you pull it, it's just this. And then you just hold on mm -hmm. to, you let these, because these will slide through, mm -hmm. and you just hold on to the, everything else. And then I just kind of just wiggle it. See how it cinches up right away? Yeah. Right, and if you pull it all the way through, it's the best. So. See how it's oh, coming through? Oh, yeah, yeah. This part, mm -hmm. nice. So if you want, if you don't want to pull that much more, cut it now. Cut that little end so I don't have to pull all of that. You don't have to go all the way next to it, but cut it so short. Okay. Okay. That way I have less to pull through. Once it pulled through. Nice. See that? Mm. 
Let's just pull through. Then what we do is we cut. Wait, we'll keep that. We'll yeah. cut this off. Yeah. Right there, flush. Yeah. And then we'll take this, cut this flush. Mm. And you can see how that's nice and clean. Yeah. It's beautiful. And this will last a long time because we, we ran this through all four four times, right? So that then to complete this necklace. Am I making you nervous? Sorry. This is helping you? Is this help? What, 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 what? You're done yet? Are we there yet? I'm hungry. I gotta go pee. Right? Let's pull through. You took it off. So let's let's now stretch it out. Give it out. We can put it over here and we can just straight up glue it. Just so that it gets in there. That's it. And it just helps How's with that. Uh, extra hole. hole. Yeah. Okay. You get someone on you like this, you just go, well, no, 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 no. And it will come off cool. This is how I do my uh, my four braid necklace. I do four braid because I like a little more meat. It lasts longer, and then it also uh, what we'll do is we'll have images of how I made this little end with the bone piece. So you have the snipping. It's great. Uh, yeah, Mark will do all the little uh, little uh, diagrams that she doesn't know about. But anyway, that's how I do it. And this is sort of how what I doing the last 30 years so if you want a necklace or you want to learn a little bit more about how we tie up we'll have some uh, graphs and uh, exact numbers of uh, how I get this to be able to get the snip down all right this is 2e so yeah, I'm sorry about my voice a little bit I've been sick for the last couple weeks so I that's how funny all right thanks guys and now uh, uh, we'll have uh, some, uh, maybe later on, uh, another way we'll have bone carving. I'm going to make a, uh, a little uh, surfboard, out of, surfboard out of bone. So uh, that's going to be coming down. And then we're going to also, again, we'll have some projects where we're actually making gold uh, uh, pen, uh, pins and stuff like that. So anyway, this is 2E, signing out from 2E Travels and from 2E and Co. And Chewy himself. <laughs> also known as. Also known as Taskmaster. Also, also known as. Lost. <laughs> All right. Peace.
And that's how you sleepwalk in a wheelchair. Yeah! If the video perked your fancy, please like, share, follow, subscribe, and... Aww.